Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. The aim of this video is to inspire you to do hard cataracts. This is fecal emulsification of a hard cataract. Nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 4 or grade 4 plus. And I'm going to employ my technique, what I call submarine job. By this time, all the incisions have been made. Now I want to stain the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens with tripan blue dye. And I stain the capsule underneath an air bubble. So the dye is being injected. In this case, what happened? There are two small areas inferiorly near 6 o'clock where the dye didn't touch the anterior capsule. As I wash the dye out, you can see there are two areas inferiorly where the capsule is not stained. And now, viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. And now, capsular excess is to be done. I introduce a 26 gauge band needle through the right side port, raise a capsular tag. And now I take a iterator of forceps, hold this capsular tag, go anticlockwise and do an adequate sized rexis. In hard cataracts, I aim for a large rexis, at least 5.5 millimeter. Nucleus management becomes easy, genular stress becomes less if the Rexis is of larger diameter. Now, hydrodissection is being done. Hydrodissection is done at multiple points. The nucleus is valoted, and we can see that the nucleus rotated very nicely in this case. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. This is a totally unedited recording and you are going to watch each and every step of the surgery. And here it is. The tip of the FECO handpiece is introduced. Some superficial cortical matter is removed and this improves visibility. Now I make the bevel up Push the nucleus little down with the chopper and bury the teeth just in front of the main incision. Go through the substance of the nucleus like a submarine moves through water and as I go near the opposite equator, I chop it like this. Rotate it on 180 degree, go to a deeper plane and separate the two heminuclei completely. Now again I go through the substance of the nucleus and divide this heminucleus into two pieces. And now I rotate these fragments, come to the other heminucleus and chop it into two pieces. And now I start emulsifying each nuclear fragment. This large nuclear fragment I again divided into two fragments and I'm emulsifying each fragment. FECO power used in this case is 85%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Cataryx 3 FECO machine. The antichamber is very stable, there is no surge and very confidently, very quickly I can remove the hard nuclear pieces and emulsification of the last piece is being done. At this time I remove the chopper so that the antichamber becomes more stable. 
and you can see that most of the cortex has come and there is no epinucleus. In hard cataracts, most of the time, the epinucleus gets incorporated into the nucleus. And now, the cortical matter is being removed. If you don't like a Simco cannula, you can use bimanual irrigation aspiration. I find it faster. By the time my assistant gets ready with bimanual, the cortical cleanup is done in most of the cases. And now, in this case, a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted under irrigation, meaning the antechamber is kept formed by irrigating fluid, irrigating BSS, and a foldable intraocular lens is injected into the capsular bag. Here it is. The irrigating probe supports the optic so that it doesn't tilt and it presses at the junction of the optic and the trailing haptic and the trailing haptic goes into the capsular bag and now the irrigating probe ips itself can dial the lens and place it properly this is a bit of moxifloxacin now I hydrate the sideboards You can see that there is hardly any gap between two steps. If you train your assistant very well, your time of inactivity will be shorter and shorter and your surgery time will be useful. If you record your surgery, you will see that there is a lot of time where you are not doing anything. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is formed nicely. All the wounds must be checked before you conclude. There should not be any leakage from any side. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will encourage you to do hard cataracts. Please develop your surgical skills and do very good service to the mankind.